Today I'm at my buddy Doug's house and we're gonna install a pellet stove. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So here's the stove and basically how it works is you have the hopper up here which holds the pellets, these things, and it holds 40 pounds or a bag. On the inside you have the auger which drops the pellets in here and then you have this little hole back here that's the cold air from the cold air intake so that gives you your cold air and then this burns up you basically just plug it in and it burns these blows the hot air through here and it's much safer than a wood stove because a wood stove gets so hot and you need to keep it far away from everything combustible uh, but it's a lot safer and a lot more efficient so first thing you do is decide where this thing is going and then you want to make sure it's level and that you have some fireproofing underneath it uh, in our case we're in a corner here so our exhaust is going to go out this wall and our cold air intake is going to go out this wall so to start i'm going to mark the pipe going out so we can get our hole i'm just going to mark around here with a pencil we'll get a pretty good idea of where it's going All right, now we can take the stove and move it back. So this is the exhaust pipe and this is the where the cold air intake goes. So we're not too concerned about marking that. That's going to go in that wall, but that has a flex pipe, whereas this is solid. So we're going to drill a hole right in the center of that and go check it out outside. We got our hole here, and this is the piece that goes on the outside and attaches to the siding or under the siding. And it's basically to keep any combustible materials from the heat. And the smaller pipe goes right through here. So this piece goes on the outside, and then there's another one that goes on the inside here. So I'm going to take this one and mark it like this, hold that whole center here. Mark this and cut that out. Insulation out of the way. You should probably wear a mask when you do this. Okay, we're outside now and we're gonna peel off two layers of siding. We're gonna drill our hole and we're gonna um, put our piece in and then this is called J channel. We're gonna J channel around it and then we can put that flange in there. A little tip here whenever working on vinyl siding this is a siding puller is what it's called and it makes the job way easier it has that hook on it you basically go underneath the course and then it hooks on the siding and then you can pull it down and unhook it from that piece So here's our hole and Doug's just going to take some, it's called mineral, mineral wool, which is uh, a fireproofing material. So just to be safe, the sleeve that you use supposedly is good enough, but just as a little extra, we're going to put this fireproofing in here before we put the sleeve in. Okay, put this piece in. There we go. 
That's good. Now I'm going to leave this loose so we have some play with that pipe on the inside. And we're going to cut the, uh, the cold air and take hold. Pretty much bottomed out here, so we're gonna have to go outside. Hopefully, we got a pilot hole out there. The reason why you want to go backwards on vinyl siding, if you go forwards, it'll just tear the crap out of the siding. We don't need that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't use your tools properly. So don't do that. It's nice. Now you can do screws right here, and then afterwards, just do a nice bead of silicone all along here and seal that right up. So we're gonna throw this piece on from the outside loosely. So that way we can go inside, move the stove back, and hook that piece up there. pipe is attached you can attach the flange to the wall luckily we have lat behind to screw this stuff to and you could cock it in if you wanted around the sides afterwards all right that's all set now you can attach the cold air intake if you wanted to you could put a hose clamp on here first and then attach it but since it's just intake it should be fine like that This one out here. 